think I was disconnected for a long time because, again, you know, so much of that time was when I was very young, and then when I left Romania, it was very much about not being different, wanting to fit in, you know, uh, being accepted and survival and all that stuff. Now I'm kind of re-educating myself, reconnecting with it, and I had a really great trip there, and I know I'm, I'm going to be going back a lot. You know, I think it was probably around when I was 15 that I that I was like, oh, you know, being different is a good thing. And I think we have to remember that because nowadays, especially for younger people, because I feel like there's so much pressure on you to be, you know, to be with the status quo, to be like everybody else, and it's actually the opposite. That word, authentic, is, I mean, that's, that's a big word for acting. I mean, you're trying to always, you know, tell the truth uh, of <laughs> as best as you can, right? Uh, even though, even though it's a movie and even though it's a performance, it's. I think you can always tell when when somebody up there in a movie is very truthful or something, and that that connects you more as an audience. It's more fun when you get to, you know, do something different than yourself. You know, I I, um, I like to think I'm an interesting person. But I don't know how I, uh, interesting I really am. To be <laughs> it's better when someone hands me something and goes, you know, like, do that. More and more I feel a responsibility to want to be involved with important stories, you know, that want to be told or that kind of affect people in a way and, um, and give, gives voice to characters that maybe are not heard as easily. People that overcome things in their life or unusual circumstances. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting story because, you know, it's about identity, right? And I mean, that's a very relatable thing. We're always searching for an identity. You, you grow up in a world that's always telling you how to be or what to do. This is what's good, this is what's bad. And then, you know, I'm just sitting characters that kind of find their own way with it. For me, with a character like that, who's very difficult and in a whole different world of, of actions that I couldn't ever conceive of, I needed to find something like the idea of, of love or the idea of obsession or, or, or fear, insecurity, all that stuff. I mean, these are things we all have, right? So it's just, as long as you understand kind of why certain people are doing what they're doing, you know, then it helps. At the end of the day, you gotta go back to your life and, and that's what's important and, but, but it's hard. I mean, sometimes it's hard. I mean, if you have, you know, if you have a day, for example, that uh, is gonna be a hard day, and let's say I'm shooting that in two weeks from now. I mean, you know, every day I'm gonna be like, okay, in two weeks, I gotta, you know, this is, I gotta go do that, okay, and then, okay, in a week from now. So, it's still part of your life to some extent, you know. Um, but that's that's okay if you if you love what you're doing if you're if you're happy with you know the project then you're gonna want to you know be obsessed with it you're gonna want to work on it you're gonna keep thinking about it I like reading a lot of biographies because it's, I'm I'm curious in how people become who they are or you know what what they get influenced by but space for me is always kind of my little hobby you know in terms of just the scope of things knowing that there's a whole other thing beyond you know our little bubble TLC Creep it's a pretty good karaoke song Bon Jovi is another good one Dead or Alive is a good one U2 is another good one <laughs> okay that's it I've been giving the chocolate all right thank you so much yeah no worries